everyone, Rhonda here from Cali Girls Crafts and Hauls. And I just got a little haul to throw on today. I thought I'd just get on and show you some of my finds. Um, been busy, busy, busy. We've been making some wreaths. Made this little um, carrot wreath. It's a happy Easter uh, carrot wreath. Everything is from the Dollar Tree on that. And really had a good time with that one. So um if you find your little carrots and you want to make a little bunny wreath they're super easy uh not at hard not at all hard don't mind my messes in the background i haven't even picked up nothing so and i am going to get more organized that's <laughs> still on the agenda so anyways let me go ahead i'm going to start this haul with a uh, joanne's haul because I did go to Joann's today because I thought, you know, I just needed to pick up a few things and I they had the mesh on sale that I like. I always buy my mesh if I can find it from Joann's on sale or Michael's, but this was regularly $9.99 and they had it for half off. So, and I do use this a lot. So this is, um, uh, I didn't bring my glasses over, but anyways, nice. It's 10 inch mesh and it's really good to work with. And this is like my favorite one. And they only had one left. So I did pick it up. I thought, well, I, there'll be something I'll be able to find to do with this one. So, but you know, for half off, I will buy that. Same with the little um, pipe cleaners. They had all their Easter stuff half off. So um, you get a hundred in here, just smell them. So. And they're all the pretty Easter colors. So I thought I'd pick those up. And then I found a bunch of Easter ribbons. And I thought those were just too cute. And these were half off of $4.99. So um, I believe they were 60% off and they were $1.99 ringing up. So these are the carrots. This is the bunnies little burlap with the bunnies and then I did find this one here so and then a little polka dot that I thought would look really cute too so and then I hadn't picked up anything for my oldest granddaughter's kind of Easter basket so I found this little bag over at Joann's and it is the cutest bag it is a reusable bag and I believe it was a dollar fifty nine so for this size. So I think she'll get more use out of something like this than an actual Easter basket. So yeah, I will I will use it for her. So, and put my stuff back in here. Cause you know, hey, gotta have a place for all my, my junk, my stackables as my dad would call them. So yeah, I don't know. I just, I can't seem to get organized anymore, you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. One day it's gonna all come together. But we've been busy. I had my sister-in-law here for a few couple weeks. And so we got busy doing wreaths and, and going to Dollar Tree and having a good time. So, and now she went home and I miss her. So anyways, now it's Dollar Tree haul time. <laughs> Found at our other, our one little Dollar Tree, these cute little bracelets. They're the little shell bracelets and then the little rope closure. And I thought those would be cute in their little Easter baskets for the girls. So if you have any little girls in your life, these little shell bracelets really are cute. Or even big girls too, like them. So I know a lot of my people that have worn them, so myself included. I did find some of the decorate, decorated shred. Now this is going to go into a mason jar so I can put some flowers down into it so I can kind of hide the stems. So this will be an animation mason jar for decorative purposes. Same for this. I picked up this for the same, same reason. And this is the actual Easter grass. So I thought I'd use that too, give it a try. Because, you know, you can use it for other things than what it says. It doesn't have to necessarily be for Easter. I did find, and I was kind of excited to find these because I've seen on my DIY channel. Oh, and she is so good. Kathy is her name, and um, it's called My DIY. And if you have a chance, go check her out. She does 
beautiful work, beautiful work. But she had been finding these, the little I, um, iridescent Easter trees. So I did find two, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna pick them up and have them on hand. I think a lot of them are using them for like a swag, to for wreath swagging, so or a swag for wreathing. So I picked up two just to put together and see what I could come up with, some sort of a Easter, maybe an Easter centerpiece. I thought about using the carrot, that little carrot ring there for an Easter centerpiece too at one time when we were making it. So, you know, what an idea. So, and then our Dollar Tree had these and I just thought they were so cute. Home sweet home with the little bluebirds and then coffee, but first coffee. And yes, this is so true here. These are the thicker signs, so they do stand. They do stand on their own and they are just cute. I don't think I'm going to do anything different with them. I'm just going to set them around. So, or I might do something with this one with the, you know, as a spring or something kind of a wreath, but yeah, this, this is so cute. I love the butt post coffee that's going up on my shelf. So in my kitchen, yes, I will because I, I just love it. I love anything coffee related to. Okay, did I get anything else in that aisle? Oh, I did, I picked up some Spanish moss. And this is good around, um, well, I'll show you what I was going to do. I found, our Dollar Tree finally got them in too again this year, is the Flowers and Gardens tins. And these make such pretty um, uh, arrangements with flowers and so I bought the moss and I bought the flower foam. I don't know where the foam is right off hand but I did. Well it might be in my bag over here so I'll, I'll look through that but yeah let me show you the flowers I picked up. They were so pretty. I mean I, my sister-in-law we made her a wreath to go home with and it is so cute. Anyways we, pick, we picked up some of these vines and these ivies and these are Perfect, you guys. These are wonderful little sizes. They're four foot and they work so cute on your wreaths. So for a dollar, yes, I you know I will pick them up. I actually picked up a few, a lot. And anyways, way too many than I needed, but maybe I, I don't know, I might need them on hand, who knows, so. Then these are the flowers I picked up that I love. I For spring in that, I thought those were really pretty. So I did, oh, I'm missing a flower off of them, one of them. Let's look and see where. Yeah, one of them is missing a flower. So it's probably the other bunch, but these are what they call lilacs, the little white lilacs. And I just thought those were pretty. And then I did pick up some real, like lilac lilacs. <laughs> and I thought those were really pretty too. And let's see, where's the other ones? They're all hiding in here. Okay, I just picked up an assortment of what I thought was going to be very pretty in one of these buckets as a, as as like an arrangement for Easter or even for this spring. So these are cone flowers, those, and I just thought those were just too cute and that pretty purple. And then these, of course, are the bell flowers. Look at those, aren't they adorable? All for a dollar. I mean, where else can you get anything to decorate and, and do something like that? Here's the other one I picked up. And let's see, I think this goes right here. So yes, we will put it back together again. Sometimes you girls, if you're doing an arrangement and you really don't want these to come off, I take a dab of hot glue and I, I take them off and then I dab a hot glue on them and then I slide them back on. So they kind of stay put. So, you know, because sometimes you just don't want to lose the pretty flower, like I did probably here. It might be in the bag yet, so. Because I do check them over really good when I'm working, when I'm trying to put an arrangement together. So, or maybe I just got too busy with my sister-in-law, because sometimes we do that. Now these are really cute. These are like a, just a little willow type thing, but it is a wisteria. And I thought those are cute how they hang and, and they look really kind of high end really to me. I mean, I don't know. I, 
I would think you'd pay a little more for them anywhere else. So I did pick up a couple of those, the little wisterias, and then I did pick up uh, the wisteria and the purple. So, so it's gonna be a pretty little bunch as soon as I get it done. But we did my sister-in-law's and it was so cute. I said, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. And then I lose, uh-oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I don't know what they're barking at. So anyways, there's another one. And let's see, no, I didn't get it. So it must be on, on the shop floor somewhere <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. So, oh wait, 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 wait. Here's one right here, right here. Maybe that fell out of something and I'll look for it again, yep. Nope. See, they're both, they're really, they're really loose. So if you don't put some glue on there, you might lose them. Because like I did this one. So yeah, I would um, really pay attention to that and put some glue, like I said, some, some glues or something, hot glue or something, because I just lost it again. But I'm going to throw it in the bag. And when I get ready to work with it, I will put them, Put a little dab of glue on there. So, yeah, we had a good time. We had a very good time. I miss her. Like I said, I miss her to death because we do do such fun things. We do make things. We craft as much as we can. And, and we run, she'll run to the Dollar Trees with me. And so we have a good time. We, we enjoy that type of stuff. And hopefully when she retires, she can stay a little longer and come on down and and we can go run, run, really to the craft stores. Dollar Tree, you know us. Okay, then down the makeup aisle. I did find this, and this is something I've not seen in our Dollar Trees yet, our Dollar Trees here. And it's the Flower Ultimate Eye Color. And this one is in, oh my gosh. I don't have no clue what that name is, but I should have brought my glasses over here, but it's a really dark blue if you can see that and it is so pretty, but I don't know if I'd ever wear that. So I think one of my younger girls are going to end up with that, but isn't that a pretty color? So, and it's made by flower and that was the only color that we had there at ours. So I don't know if they come out in different colors with other stores or what they're doing. Then this is the first time I've seen these at our Dollar Tree and these are the um, travel kits and they, they're they really sturdy. They're a Haas of Steel, Haas of Steel <laughs> brand name and very nice for a dollar. I thought, why not? They're FA, um, FSA approved or TSA approved, I'm sorry. And there was a nail clipper, tweezers, and then a premium storage case. And I thought, you know what? Those are nice for the guys, if nothing else. So, or, or stick in your purse or have, you know, in the car or something, because these are good. So I did pick up a couple of those for a dollar. And even if you hang on to them for the holidays, <laughs> I know everybody's like, oh no, don't say those words. <laughs> but you know, stick them back for Christmas, it's going to be coming. Going down the food aisle, I did pick up some of these. They had the Cheez-Its in the four pack and these look pretty good for a nice little snack. They're a Cheddar Jack. So I got a couple packages of those because you never know when you might need a little Cheez-It. And okay, and then I got the guacamole chips again. And there they are, the tortilla flavored crisp chips. And these are really good, guys. They do, if you like guacamole, avocados, pick these up because that, that'll get your, your avocado guacamole fix in. So, and then, and long story short, but my grandma Jen, bless her heart, she would come down here, we would go to the store, and I don't know how we got started on this. It's the El Sabros, say El Sabroso brand name. Well, she used to find the bigger bags of these and she, as a grin of it, she would actually bring them or purchase them here 
and I believe Walmart had them then, and they were the large bags. And oh my gosh, she loved these chips. So she would giggle if she seen I was getting these. So, cause then they went, they kind of went away. So I didn't know what happened to them or I couldn't find them anyway. So, but then of course, candy, my sister-in-law and law and I are chocoholics. So you don't dare leave us alone in the chocolate aisle. But she always likes to pick these up. And I love anything Russell Stover. So of course I have to too. <laughs> Can't stand it. Mint patties. And then of course, then she ended up picking up the actual caramels. And I've never tried those. So she left them here and I guess they're fair game. <laughs> so anyways, there they are. And they're the Russell Stover and they're the milk chocolate with caramel. And there's 2.95 ounces in here. And you get three pieces or two? Two pieces for 130 calories. And carbs are 18, I believe. But, you know, when you need a little chocolate fix, this is really the only size I need. I don't need a large bag full of chocolates. No, 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 no. I only need one or two, and then I need to make myself stop. <laughs> stop. Anyway, so I just thought I'd, like I said, jump on, show you a little bit of what I've been purchasing. I've got, I've had way more, been busy making little carrot wreaths, and we made a few more of the wreaths, and I just thought you guys would like to see them. I'm gonna pop over there real quick, and I'm gonna get it so I can give, get you a close. These are really nice. If you want to make them, they are, there's uh, 10 packs of six, I believe, in a pack at Dollar Tree of the actual carrots. This is a dollar sign from Dollar Tree. And then what I did was I used one of their wreath forms and then I wrapped it in the twine so I could glue all the carrots onto the wreath form. So I hope that kind of shows you how to do it. And very easy, not at all hard. So if you're a beginner crafter, try this one. If you can find everything at your Dollar Tree, it is well worth it. This I spent, what, $10 for the carrots, 11, 12, maybe $13 for the whole wreath, plus my hot glue. So, but just thought you'd like to see that and enjoy kind of getting ready for the Easter holidays. So, you guys, I hope you all have a good weekend and take good care. And always remember this too shall pass. And anyways, I will see you again maybe soon in another haul. And you guys have a nice weekend. God bless you.